Life is like a basketball game. Sometimes you're up, other times you're down. Opponents and adversaries coming at you left and right. However, it's not the challenges you face that define you. What defines you is how you play the game. And I play to win. Welcome to my world, Carlton's world. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Carlton's World. It's your boy, Carlton. Um, right now, we are, uh, everybody's dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. Is it Helene? I should know this. I work in news. Helene. Hurricane H. Everybody has been dealing with the, the aftermath of the hurricane, um, especially here in Augusta. Uh, we were hit pretty hard. Um, so I'm asking everybody to just please keep us in your prayers. Keep everybody in your prayers that's been impacted by by the this hurricane. It's dealing with the aftermath of the hurricane. Um, there, there are people that lost loved ones. Uh, there are people that lost their homes, uh, their their cars. Um, it's 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 really a lot going on right now. So I'm, I'm just asking that people pray. And also, if you're able to actually physically do something to help, um, like I said, we're, um, asking that you do your part to help as well. Um, but the ironic thing was I was planning on doing a video uh, before or well, a pod before um, my 39th birthday. I was not expecting my 39th birthday to shape up, start out like this. I mean, nobody was expecting for this to happen, but I'm just saying like for this specifically for me, I was like, yeah. and, you know, I had, I had plans that I was, I was trying to roll out things before the 39th, my 39th birthday, and uh, definitely was not expecting this. But it's ironic because um, the topic that I was going to touch on kind of kind of correlates. Um, I have been doing a lot of uh, reflecting and um, just pondering the last the last few months as I am approaching my 39th birthday. Because I mean, obviously. After that is 40. And so I just have been think I've been thinking a lot about my life. Um a lot about the people that are in my life. And again, the re the irony of it all is all of this that ha that has happened with, with the hurricane, it makes you again put things in perspective. It makes you think about a lot of things. Um I I, I can only speak for me, but Dealing with the aftermath of this hurricane, I have realized I have taken a lot of things and a lot of people for granted. Um, and even again, in, in, in correlation to going into my 39th year, I once again feel like I've taken a lot of things and a lot of people for granted. Everybody doesn't make it to 39, like, everybody doesn't make it you know, to the, to the latter years of life. Again, even in, with this, with this hurricane, like a lot of people, unfortunately, sadly, some people didn't make it, make, didn't make it out alive. And again, it just makes you sit back and think and reflect and not to take away from the bad things that, that has happened to people. Um, never going to take you, you do, you have the right to feel sad. You have the right to feel angry, upset, frustrated, confused, uh, I think I said sad already, but yeah, you have the right to feel all the all the things. You have the right to feel all the things. Um, I, I just, for me, I I try to find the balance in everything. Um, so I'm trying to. Okay, so I'm like, I, I literally can't. I can't. I've been working, uh, working, working literally twelve plus hours since Thursday. Um. For those of you who know, I work in, people know I work in news. Um, so, and, and then literally as I'm recording this, uh, the, the I, I spent the night at the news station. Um, a lot of us have been, you know, staying at the news station. Um, but as I was uh, just, just thinking and just contemplating, um, I was like, you know what? things could be a lot worse. And I was just so grateful when I came home. I was like, I can at least still brush my teeth. A lot of people don't have water right now. 
I can at least come home and take a bird bath. You know, some people call it a whole bath, but you know, you know, whatever you like to call it. Um, but yeah, I can at least come home and wash myself. You know, a lot of people don't have running water. A lot of people don't have hot water. Um, again, a lot of people don't have homes to even go home to anymore. So it's like you, you kind of put things in perspective. Um, one of my friends, shout out to Janika. She wrote a post that was saying like, this could have happened during like the winter time. And then like, you wouldn't even have, like, we have to deal with all of this disaster plus the cold, like the, I'm talking about like the blistering cold, like, you know, cause you never know when it comes to Augusta or down South, as far as like, what kind of when is you gonna get? So that and I, that was, that was okay. That's a good way to put things. Like I said, you can we can at least go outside. It's it's still a nice, despite the circumstances. It's still nice outside. We can go outside, take a walk. Be careful though if you do that. Uh, go outside, take a walk, sit on the porch, take in the fresh air. Like it's it's so many things that we can still be grateful for. And again, going back to correlation to my 39th birthday. Which is, you know, which is, uh, if y'all, this is, I'm putting this out. So this is the day before I'm putting this out on the month on, um, this is a Monday. So I'm putting it, this is the day before my birthday. Um, I have so much to be grateful for despite all the ups and downs, despite all of the mistakes that I've made, despite all of the wrongs that were done against me or whatever, I still have so much to be grateful for. I have great things that have happened in my life. I have great people in my life, um, especially my family. So yeah, it's like, it's all about how are, it's how, it goes back to the old saying, how you decide to look at the glass is it half empty or half full. And so I'm choosing to look at my glass as, as being half full. Honestly, my glass is full. I mean, and, per, and to be honest with you, I, 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 again, it's just about how you decide to look at things. Uh, how, how, what's your perspective when it comes to life? So I said all that to say, um, I am looking forward to turning 39. I'm not sure exactly what this chapter is going to look like. Um, but I am grateful to have the opportunity to experience and live out this chapter. Uh, with that being said, um, I do have uh, a new EP coming out and a new book coming out. It's called I Am Me. Um, it's coming out on my birthday. It's coming out October 1st. And I, if you could be so kind, I would love for you to stream it. Um, it's going to be on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, all the, all the things, all wherever you can get, wherever you listen to your music, you can get the EP. I have to give a shout out to DNY Blaze who is that could produce the project and really he lived this project with me. We've been working on this project for two years. Um, we started, we started this in 2022. And so I am grateful for him for living this journey with me and throughout the, throughout the ups and downs. I'm so appreciative. Shout out to all the artists that have contributed to the project. I thank you for lending your talents and your gifts to this project. Um, I'm gonna tell you now again. If you listen, it's real grown. Um, it's 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 honestly, it's 39 years of life, things that I've experienced. Um, you know, things things that I've done. You know, I, I can't run from the things that I've done, and you know, just things that have happened in my life or things. You know, again, I can't I can't run from it. I, I've I've always used poetry as a catalyst to. Um, express how I feel or express what's going on in my life. It's a catharsis, if you will. I love that word, catharsis. Um, so that this is what it is. And I've never, I've always uh, wanted to make sure that I don't embarrass my family for them. That's that's my number one priority, was that never to embarrass my family. I always wanna honor my parents. I always wanna make sure um, that I do that. Um, so I never want to do anything that negates any of that. So I was real hesitant about releasing this project, but at the same time, I feel like it was something I needed to do for me. Um, again, to get it all out and just kind of just move on from 
the things that I've experienced. So that's why the top, that's why the, the, the project's called I Am Me. Again, it's a poetry book as well. It's, uh, it's gonna be available on Amazon on October 1st on my birthday as well. So if you want to give me something for my birthday, stream the project, buy the book. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, again, it's real grown. So uh, to the family, <laughs> if you're watching or listening, there's some things you may want to skip. If it says the E on the on the song, that means you might want to skip it. Except voices. Voices, you can listen to that one. Um, but the other ones, you might want to skip those. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, but seriously, uh, again, this project is special to me because again, I am really unveiling a lot and I'm really, again, just being really transparent and um, Again, going into the deeper workings of who I am. That's what that's what my poetry is about. My poetry is always uh, just being there. But again, being, allowing it to be the, the the catharsis that I need in order to learn the lessons I need to learn in order to move on to the next chapter of my life. So that's why this project is very important to me. So uh, I hope you listen to it with the open heart. And... Um, Again, I hope you, uh, if you decide to get the book or listen to the project, I hope you, I hope you read, really, really, really read or listen with an open heart. That's, that's, that's my desire for you. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have. That's, I want to do, it's a little different. Obviously I don't have the microphones and everything. We don't have any power in the house. So I couldn't do the mics and the lights and all that good stuff, but I still wanted to do this pod. I thought it was still crucial for me. Because this is this is my last day, my third, my last day being thirty eight, and I'm getting ready to cross over into thirty nine, and then that will be the final chapter in my thirties. I can't believe I'm saying that. I like you, you when you're younger, you're like I can't, you're like you always, I can't wait, I can't wait till I'm getting this age, I can't wait till I get to this age, but to actually be the age. It's still mind-boggling to me. Like in my mind, I still feel like I'm getting ready to th turn 13, which is my favorite age, by the way. I'll be applied about that. Why 13 was my favorite age? But I, in my mind, I'm getting ready to th still turn 13, and it's like, no, sir, you are in your 30s. Your late 30s, by the way. So yeah, it's it's still it's still mind-boggling to me that. I'm getting ready to be 39 years old and it's to be my last year in my 30s. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I thank y'all. <laughs> I thank y'all for watching. I thank y'all for listening. Um, again, if, if you are out there in the uh, Southeast region and you have been impacted, my, my thoughts and prayers truly and sincerely go out to you. And I, and I ask that you do pray and think of us as well. Um, if you are out there traveling, whatever, please be safe. Um, please be careful. If you don't have to leave your house, please don't leave the house. Um, but if you do, please be safe and just be careful. Um, and, and, uh, and, and, and overall, let's, let's do better at being kind to one another. Um, you never know what, even, even without all of this stuff that's happening, let's do a better job of being kind. You never know what somebody is going through. You never know. Your your last word to somebody, well, here's a two part of it. Your last word to somebody could be the last word you say to that person. Because you again, we don't know what our time is, how our time is going to end on this earth. Second caveat to that is, you don't, the last word you say to somebody could actually make a difference in somebody's life, whether good or bad. So let's watch our words. Let's think before we do. And let's just be kind to one another. Let's love one another. Okay? All right. That's it. That's all I got. Um, y'all be blessed. Y'all be careful. Y'all be safe. Love y'all. And thank y'all so much for being a part of my world. Peace.